So here is our calic. Now, a couple things that we can do to get the calic to react the way we want it to is to not fight it. One of the things that you need to think about is how does hair really work? The way that it works is as the hair dries, if you don't force it to do something as it's drying, once it dries, it's there forever. Well, until you wet it again. Wetting the hair breaks down bonds in the hair and allows it to be flexible. Heat also breaks down bonds in the hair and allows it to be flexible. So if you have a cowlick, the best thing to do, get it wet first and then hit it with heat and force it to do something that it didn't want to do when it would dry. The other thing that I like to do with the cut part of it, because a cut doesn't really solve a cowlick, but it can help out with the styling process. So if the cowlick is right here and the hair is swirling and this hair wants to kick up and over, what I'll do is I'll leave a little extra length in here I'll work through cutting it. And instead of cutting up over the round of the head, instead of taking it like this, I'll take it more like this. Now, if I cut it shorter, that might be a instant cure for dealing with this calic. But when it starts to grow out, it just all of a sudden it's a problem again. Within a week, it's a problem again. You wanna be able to give them the most success that they're gonna have in a three week to four week time frame. So I leave a little extra length in this calic area, just like that, and I cut it however it wants to stick out. So if it wants to stick out this way, that's where I hold it and cut it. If it wants to stick out up and over this way, then I'll comb it over this way and I'll take my section diagonal like that and I'll bring it out and connect it and cut it. Either way, you wanna fight the cowlick the least amount possible. We've got the hair cut kind of in the direction that cowlick wants to go. So now when I have my hair wet and I hit a blow dryer on the back, and use a comb because combs pull a little bit more tension than a brush. So you can just comb and blow dry the back down and you won't have any problem. So here is another kind of point. As I'm working through here, this hair kind of wants to kick over and spread. And now I'm going to comb and cut the hair again where it wants to fall. One product that is great for working with a calic is Paul Mitchell Steady Grip Styling Gel. So medium hold gel, medium shine. I take this, I add the tiniest bit. No, I don't. I take off the little foil piece. Then I take a tiny bit. Oop, just like that. I work this into my hand and I work this right into the calic at the scalp. The scalp is what we're dealing with guys. Now, gel gets crunchy if you leave it in the hair wet and it dries like that because it's just drying and keeping some of that moisture in and collecting the hair together. Brush or comb the hair where you want it to lay once you get the gel in there. And then take your blow dryer and aim the heat and the airflow down. Just like this. And work that airflow. Do not move the blow dryer. And now the hair is dry. We've used the two things that we needed to. We used water and we used heat to seal the bonds laying perfectly down as opposed to kicking up and being where it is. Now this, until you wet it again, will be good to go for the rest of the day.